This content was created purely for entertainment and informational purposes. The creators of this vlog do not endorse drinking and driving, debauchery, underage drinking, public intoxication, speeding, street racing or any other form of delinquency. I'm just a guy, with a drink, talking about cars. Please don't take this shit too seriously. Back with another unboxing, it's your boy the Killer Bee, the Fat Man, the Africanized Honey Bee, the Car Guy Blog 05 at gmail.com guy, at 05 Car on Facebook, at 05 Car on Instagram. Still not messing with Twitter because me and Elon can't see eye to eye. Uh, this is the 1970 Porsche 917K, the number 20 golf car from the movie Le Mans starring Steve McQueen. This is best described as a replica of a fictional car, which is to say this is the car, this is the model of the car from the film Le Mans, not an actual car with Porsche Golf Racing lineage. Um, I've seen the movie Le Mans a couple times. I like the movie. Uh, my understanding is that the movie nearly broke McQueen. He put uh, a lot of time, energy, and uh, I think money into it. I think he was one of the producers of the film. Put a lot of money into it. It did not do all that well. Um, he was trying to create an epic along the line of James Garner's Grand Prix. And even though it closely mirrors that movie, it did not have the same critical or commercial response, and I don't know that McQueen ever truly recovered from that, but um, they did some really cool things to make the movie, and, um, you know, it's it's just, in my opinion, it's a great film, um, but as you can see here, I was having some fun with the model and some of my diorama characters, you know, who, what woman would sit on the fender of a 917? First of all, I think those fenders were incredibly thin. They would probably buckle, but um, anyway, <laughs> I was just having fun with these diorama characters as I was posing when I first got the car. Um, I bought this as an open box, so it does not it did not come in its original packaging, and it does have some slight shelf wear damage, uh, but it's a good model, and I like it. Like all auto art cars, it is highly detailed. As you can see, the, the front cover removes. Uh, the doors open and the interior is very finely detailed. Um, we're going to try to zoom in here a little bit. I always have trouble getting good light inside these cockpits to see in there. Um, in my mind, this is a very, very good model, but other people may disagree. Um, I love the rear end detail here with the rear suspension, the spare tire, the engine, the fan, the exhaust system. Um... You know, these models are just always exquisitely detailed, and I, I love them to death. Love that big fan on top of that Porsche Flat 12. Um, I'm from the era where all quote-unquote real Porsches were air-cooled, um, which is to say the 928 was in existence shortly after I was born. And as a young child, I remember seeing 928s and 924s and 944s, but, um, you know... I grew up idolizing the 935, the 936, the 956, the 962. So to me, all real Porsches are air-cooled. And that's just, it is what it is. It's part of the appeal and the allure. Um, here we see the detail of the undercarriage, the bottom of the engine, and the transaxle. Uh, rear suspension members. Like I said, pretty good. Considering this car is, you know, probably 50% plastic, I thought the amount of detail was pretty good. This car does come from the era before ground effects, so there are no tunnels under the car. I don't know if it's period correct for the bottom to be completely flat like that, but um, I wouldn't know. I've never been, I've never crawled under a 917, so I don't know. But that is the Porsche 917K 1970, uh, Steve McQueen number 20 car. I hope you enjoyed it.